All right. JG, welcome. Well, it's nice to be welcomed. Well, Chase, <laughs> welcome back to DS9. Thank you so much, Nick. How are you? <laughs> I'm so excited to finally show you guys around. I am so excited um, to see this. This is uh, our version of Deep Space Nine. So um, we've been working on uh, rebuilding. We've had uh, Deep Space Nine in our game as an interior map that players can visit for quite a while. Um, but it's a very old map and it's kind of seen its days. So we've been refreshing it by making it look more like the show than our old map did. This looks just like the show. Thank you. Thank remember, you very much. I remember that stairway. This little airlock Room. here. Mm -hmm. This thing. Yeah. Is that... <clears throat> it looks like the airlock that uh, my wife Sorella uh, came <laughs> through when she arrived on DS9. That would be very, very correct. It would You've probably... seen my wife? I... Would really you give her a message for me? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen her lately. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. I mean, I know technology is amazing, but this is beyond. Well, thank uh, you. I, it's it's nice to hear you say that. Oh, I forgot to show you too. We have the uh, back here in the security cells. We have the uh, the actual holding cells where people <laughs> would get locked up once in a while. Oh yeah yeah. Rom got locked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You spent um, plenty of time in here. I hope. Yes, I have. This looks phenomenal. Like this has it, all been rebuilt from what we had in the game previously, and uh, it's gorgeous. I I feel like I could just jump into that screen and just walk around in there. It's amazing. How do you know it looks? Like, where do you get the? Pl oh man, where do you get the plans to make it look like that? <laughs> so those plans for the sets uh, during that time are all online. Somebody has has actually. I mean, there's copies of them available. I have a paper copy. Someone scanned them and put them online. Uh, and then luckily for us, Paramount is still a running studio. So those stages have web pages devoted to them that have all of the dimensions of the interiors so we can match the, the paper map from DS9 set to the actual stage dimensions and then cut everything out and, uh, and try to make it look as much as we can like the real place. Um, another thing too is that, um, here, let's, let's cheat. We can fly up and out of here. Um, oh my gosh, that's so, so cool looking. So this is Quarks, right? Oh, yeah. And so the sets were only f about from here through, right? You went from about the Replimat over to Garrick's tailor shop, right? Right. But we, because it's, I mean, in you know, in the show, that's all they built. But in in the world of the Star Trek, world, the whole yeah. thing is a circle, right? Exactly. A, so we had to fill in all of that back area. So what did you make? Well, so we invented a lot of stuff. Yeah, we never shot in. anything further down the promenade. Right. But we had a long promenade. You, you had a very long promenade, yeah. but you also, you Not couldn't afford full. to build the whole thing, right? <laughs> that would be crazy. But we can build it in, in CG for the game. And so we've had to kind of invent what's back here. And one of the things that we've done is you guys did a big change from season one to season two. And so we pulled in some of the assets that were removed in season from season one to season two. So we pulled in the Jumja stand and put it back here so that it's still on the promenade someplace. Who was um, that back there? He's he's a Mugato dealer. Do you remember the Mugato from oh, yes, uh, of from course. TOS? And yes, so, of course. So you can buy a little pet Mugato to follow your, Mugato to follow you around. Oh, I think I would um, like one, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you did a lot of walking up up here. This is long walk and talks. Yeah. Yeah, and this is I where, never ran like that ever. <laughs> <laughs> True. We don't. Uh, I can. I can only run faster. I don't think I can walk let's slower. See if, let's see if you run faster. I'd like to see me running faster. There you go. Oh, that's good. A lot of a lot of arm and arm and leg kick. You can you can good. do that, right? No. <laughs> no. Ira Bear walked me down the promenade to tell me, put his arm around me, walked me down the promenade, <laughs> looked just like that. And he said, uh, we're going to give Lita to Ron. All right. Yeah, that's how I found out. Not, <laughs> not a bad way. A little, nice little walk down the promenade. All right. On the last day of shooting, I was walking out off the lot, and I passed a, uh, I'll tell you where the set was. The set was... Uh, was the holodeck where he, where okay. uh, Jimmy Darren was yep, yep. singing. Yep, that would have been upstairs in Quark's here. Exactly. And we we left that, and I passed by a little, uh, uh, one of the, one of the uh, studio doors was open, and I, and I passed by and I saw the bridge of the uh, Bird of Prey there. Oh, yeah. Everything okay. was pushed together because it was mm -hmm. just... Um, and I said, oh, if I only had a, a 
tractor trailer. I... <laughs> <laughs> this all looks so right, so good, so the way it was. Thank you very much. Um, it's unbelievable. It makes me very happy to hear you say that. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Hopefully we've done it justice. Oh, no, it's beautiful. It's stunningly nice. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. I mean, I've always loved this game because it was so reminiscent of the show. And you look at this, and it really is like being back home again. It, it, it. For one, it. You know how everybody's been saying, um, "Is there going to be a Deep Space Nine movie?" Mm -hmm. This or, is like that. Yeah. It looks like a movie. It looks like an animated film. Or, cool. you know, it. It just is. It's beautiful in a way that you feel like you could walk right into it. And I. I'm just so excited to be a part of this. The, the excellence is, is really amazing.